So before we move on to part two of our student loan project, we should really make sure that our numbers line up, that everything's working. So you have access to uh, my spreadsheet that I set up, and you can see all the expenses. You can see the totals that are bolded here and the corresponding formulas that I used. As you go through section by section, there are little notes. So for example, books and supplies start at 1220 and they increase by $100 each year. So the little note saying that that'll happen, the same is true for groceries, cash from work will increase by a thousand, scholarships and grants will also increase by a thousand. Here's the formula for work study. And that, again, that's based on $11.80 an hour, 10 hours a week, 12 weeks a semester, and there are two semesters in a year. Um, I didn't put the note in here, but this will increase by two hours per year. So as you go through, check the numbers, see what matches, see what doesn't. Uh, I don't believe there are any mistakes on my part, but if you do find some, please let me know. So don't just copy and paste this. Please go through and make sure you agree, because as we work further and further with these numbers, they should make sense. And then at the very end here, you really want to make sure that these totals add up. And what this is saying is it will cost about $130,000 to go to the school for four years. And out of that $130,000, you have over $81,000 in loans. So we're not adding these two up, right? This is the total cost of all the expenses. And if you look at the formula, um, and I'll put it right here, you know, copy and paste it. Here's the formula. So you'll see this in the sheet. Boom. So that formula, what it basically does is it adds up all the expenses from all the years for college and other expenses that we listed. And then the loan formula right here will add up all the loan amounts throughout the whole spreadsheet. So you really you're checking for yourself, but also we're checking to see if there are any issues in my spreadsheet. And then what you're going to do uh, after you do that, make sure you submit it into Canvas. One submission per partnership or group is certainly sufficient. Thanks.